<laughs> as you can see, Christmas is kind of falling apart <laughs> all around the house. <laughs> I'm starting today to take it all down. I had a dirty one of these little joy towels in the bathroom and I just like, okay, let's start cleaning these so we can pack them back away. We got all this candy and stuff just kind of sitting out here and it's just, I'm done with the mess and I'm done with the clutter and I'm done with Christmas. I like to have it fresh and clean for the new year and today is that day. Poor Mr. Moose. <laughs> Got them all hooked together and his little antler fell off. I'm trying to decide today if I need a mental health night out. <laughs> if I'm gonna have the ability to go out with some friends but I don't want to plan it yet because I don't know if I'm going to be in the right mindset. Last night I had to go sit in my car in a parking lot at a park for um, an hour and a half talking to my friend Kathy back home, next door neighbor to my dad. Um, dear friend of mine helped me kind of work through some stuff that I'm going through. I might need another one of those nights, but more fun. But I don't know if I'm gonna have the mental ability to do so. <laughs> So I'm trying to get the house clean to see if that'll help myself. I've got some stressful stuff that I've got to do this afternoon that I'm really not looking forward to, but I have to do because, you know, mom life, I have to. I'm trying to find a battery. <laughs> um, but I think I'll be able to get myself into a better place if I can have the house clean. So let, I, it's starting with laundry. I'm gonna fold towels in here and keep the laundry going and then we're going to put Christmas away, which means I have to pull in the Christmas bins and it's going to get way worse before it gets better. How many of you are the same? Also, you're seeing this well after the new year. I've given you guys some extra videos because I have too many videos. So I'm trying to get this done. And uh, do you guys take Christmas down before the new year or after the new year? Okay, let's get cleaning. break. Done the three areas in the kitchen. Now I have laundry to do. <laughs> Super fabulous. I'm doing towels today. So I've got all of our towels. Just get kind of a behind the scenes of what it takes to get it all taken down. I'm also not trying to like stress myself about it. I'm gonna do this really quick. I've also had to stop and take a break to get a prescription refilled from my doctor. Another Christmas card to go put away. All the little Pandora's box things that pop up, you know. I wanted to just quickly move the toaster area, but I have to clean the butter dish, and <laughs> that leads to the dishwasher needing to be emptied and then refilled by Ashley. Emptied by Abby, refilled by Ashley. But her little clean, dirty <laughs> is working out quite well. Okay, this irritates me to no end. Those are clean, folded towels. 
I just took out dirty, nasty towels that were on top of them in the same basket. And now I don't know, like, was this folded? Or is it dirty? That's dirty, I think. Look, folded, folded. All of that's folded. People, oh, okay. Well, I have less towels to do than I thought. It's ridiculous. Fold these guys back up. Put them back in here. Bloody, go put them away, people. Might be time to clean or get them new towels. See how yellow that one is? These ones are pretty old. Maybe they'll get new towels too. But I don't know how to decipher between ours and them. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I had four areas in the kitchen to clean. <laughs> Forgot about this one. This is from Michelle, in case you didn't see that from here on our channel. If you see her comments down below. Um, it was fun to kind of quickly incorporate that into our holiday stuff. This guy actually goes up here. I have all of the kids like ceramic stuff that they've made in school. I have them all up here. I don't know, I just want to protect them a little bit more. This one, it's tip broke off, but I still really like it. Kind of sad to see this little display go. I have really liked it, but I need to get my little circle, either that tray or this tray. I haven't decided. This one kind of takes up a lot of space. I don't know where to put this one. I don't want to put it in that corner because I'm really liking the toaster set up, set up over there. But I also have this cute little cutting board. Um, and it's engraved with our name on it. I got this from our real estate agent this year for Christmas. Isn't that so sweet? I love that he did that. Great friend of ours. Also, do I save the sugar <laughs> or not? That is the question. Or I just, you know, throw it away. Try and get this house back out. Dump the sugar. This is Oh, there's a tree. All right, it's all coming together. I also have a pile for Christmas stuff over here. And then all of like those little trinkets there, that is like my regular decor. Same with these guys. So I kind of had to separate them out. All right, shake off the sugar. Legit, I'm having a hard time <laughs> throwing away that sugar, but I guess it's okay. We do have new sugar in there, so it's probably better. Also, I think I might make some French toast this morning and have that. I think I deserve it after this cleaning. Maybe I'll take a break here in a minute. Okay, next up, I am gonna make French toast. <laughs> Abby came down, she's like, that sounds good. But I'm gonna let her finish unloading before I get back in the kitchen here. I don't know if I'm going to use this jar again. Maybe I'll put it on the front table up there. I do have this little corner kind of put back. The other circular um, Lazy Susan is too big. It comes like clear out to here. Um, so I do like that and then I can display that to kind of hide the plug. So I'll redecorate later. I'm not doing that today. So next up, I'm just going to take down the stocking stuff. Kind of like the garland, but I also want all the Christmas stuff put away. So I'm probably just going to take it down. So all linens go into a pile. All trinkets go into a pile. These get wrapped, but all the stuff is in the boxes. And then all of this stuff I save for my regular shelves, except for the lights. I'll take out the batteries and do all the lights into one tin. I was actually just thinking maybe I'll leave that little tree up, but I actually have pictures that go up here. <laughs> so we'll take this down. It's so naked now. <laughs> the pictures that go up here are actually up in my bedroom, so I'll get them later and put them back up. And see, now I can't not see any dust. My twin sister gave us these movies for Christmas. Tuck them in here. And now I can't not dust everything. All right, here's where I'm at, and I think I'm overwhelmed thinking about doing this. <laughs> I'm not even going to put things into boxes this morning, like into my bins. I'm just like overwhelmed even thinking about taking out all of this down and what it entails. Ugh, see, but I know it's an easy process to just get it to my counter. So 
we're just going to get it all down. This stuff on the tree I'll do last. I'm going to pile it onto the ground here and I'll bring my bin out here and I'll tuck it away all into the bins that they go into. And then my cute little village, it'll go down to, this is like my all time favorite advent calendar. We didn't do anything with it this year. <laughs> I just like the look of it so much that we didn't put like, we didn't take the houses out and we didn't put them back in. We just left them all there. But I don't know, I'm going to be kind of sad to not have this little thing here. That thing, on the other hand, is quite the eyesore. All right, I'm kind of in a hurry at this point, so I just quickly took everything off of these shelves. They're looking very bare, <laughs> not decorated at all, but I don't have time to do anything with them, but I am going to quickly wipe them down. We did wipe them down before we decorated, but I'm going to quickly do another little wipe down. I have all of the houses here that usually get dispersed throughout. That will change later. Again, I am not decorating today. And I also just forgot this. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna wipe this down really quick and then I have to take down the little village here. I will leave this little box here with the cards in it. I'm just gonna take down the decorations and tuck them away. I have to take Abby to get her first um, driver's ed observation drive done. She has to go and be in the back seat, which is interesting because she's been driving for so long that <laughs> as soon as she starts driving, I think she starts next week, the teacher is going to be like, yeah, again, this isn't your first rodeo, kind of like Kaylee. So I'm just going to quickly wipe down so that when I do decorate, probably next week, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, um, Jason has decided to take tomorrow, so it'll be a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off, which makes me very happy. So we're going to try and do some stuff with the girls. We want to go, they want to go ice skating. Um, they want to go to a movie or something. Oh, we want to go to Ikea. Michelle kind of sparked a little interest in going to Ikea. And Chelsea and Ashley need a new dresser. Desperately. They need a new dresser, a bigger dresser. So we're just trying to fill the time when he's home with stuff we can do together versus like house chores that we can do when the kids are in school. Also, fun thing, I got exciting news today. I'm gonna save that news till the end. I have to get confirmation of said good news. Whoops. And then I'll tell you what that is. All right, that is done. The house actually, I usually do put a house here, but I'll probably just set it over here for now. And stick it back in there. But Christmas is taken down from the shelves and the front table here and the kitchen. This is my basket of stuff that came off the shelves. This is a pile that I just barely took off myself. And I still have the tree to do, but that will have to wait till after I get back. And I also have to do therapy which is what I've been dreading and what I had a hard time with last night. So, not therapy for me. Although, it probably is more for me. <laughs> so, I'm gonna stop here. Um, I'll stop here. When I get home, I will have an hour until that call. And I will hurry and take down the Christmas tree ornaments. Again, I'm just gonna put them down here on the ground. This mess. This is how I do it. It likely will stay here today. I don't know. We'll see how I feel after all of these appointments and errands that I have to run and kind of go from there. Um, the bins are sitting out in the garage. They're ready for the, me to bring them in. I just, we'll see if I have the mental capacity to finish it. But this part is a chore. Like getting it taken down and cleaned up is part of the process so i can't beat myself up for not finishing it all in one morning so we'll just be happy with what i've got done all right abby doing her first observation drive in that car right there they were waiting for the student driver to show up so next time she'll actually get to drive but today she's just observing it'll probably be really boring for her <laughs> 
I am going to go next door and get a beverage. <laughs> I'm sitting in the car and respond to text messages. I'm actually texting the therapist right now. And we're trying to figure out a plan. Not only just for today's call, but also for the future. Because it's a little uncertain at this point, which is causing me a lot of stress. Luckily, he kind of has a plan. And we're going to come and see what we need to do. Um, oh, but I also need to go to the bank. I have a lot of money that I'm going to go and cash out for my Hawaii trip. I cash it out so I don't spend it. I know I could put it in savings, but I just, it makes me feel better to have the cash. So I have a lot of money that I've saved up. And I wish it didn't have to pay for the hotel. <laughs> I wish it could just pay for souvenirs and fun excursions because we're all old enough to do excursions and stuff. But, um, it might actually have to pay for part of the hotel. Unfortunately, the prices have just skyrocketed. Funny enough, a friend of mine texted me today and she's like, all right, Maui Guru, talk to me. What side of the island do I stay on? What rental company do I get? And what do I need to do while I'm there? And I'm like, uh, that is not a text message response kind of question. You need to call me. And she's like, well, I'm going to my in-laws today. Can I call you tomorrow? I'm like, yes. I will be in a better mood to talk about Hawaii tomorrow. So let's go get some cash. I don't know if the ATM is going to let me take, a take out this much cash in one day. We shall see. Yay! Alright, I got a drink while I'm waiting here for Abby. I got parked over here waiting right in front of the, the driving school, but they messed up and gave me a Diet Coke instead. And luckily the parking lot for McDonald's is right there. And the defensive driving is right through that alley. The problem now is I kind of just parked and like walked over to McDonald's. This girl is trying to parallel park. <laughs> I can't get through. Um, I should just give her some grace and let her figure this out. All right. All right. She did good. She did probably a two point turn. So now we're just going to park and wait for Abby. She should be done in like 10 minutes. All right. Back at home. I knew this would, map, would come out eventually with Ashley being downstairs now. I'm gonna push it aside. And <laughs> doing this makes it kind of final and like I need to actually deal with all the rest of the decorations. So I'm kind of dreading this. But should we prop you guys up and have you watch my back end? No, let's not do that. All right, I've made a mess for myself now. And despite having checked and rechecked the tree i guarantee you i've missed and i told you literally told you they blend in so much especially like the wood ones they blend in so i think i've gotten them all now i am going to leave the lights and the oh there's another one the wood really blend in here so i'm going to leave my lights and the little picks in the tree We'll have it lit for another day or two and then I'll have Jason take it down because I am allergic to it. So even this, my fingertips are starting to itch um, from having touched the tree. There's another one. Okay. So now maybe her mat will come in handy. I can sit on this cozy mat and normally I don't pull them off the tree like this. Normally I pull them off in all of their little piles like I started to and then I got annoyed with that. So now I'm going to sit down and sort them all. Everything is organized into the piles. Part of it is because I have bags that fit each different set of ornaments. Um, and then I've got the garlands, I've got all the wood ones. These ones um, my sister gave to the girls this year as a little, she gives them ornaments now. Um, all the grandkids get an ornament from her and it came with these ones and gold and white ones. And so the gold and white ones are upstairs on the upstairs tree. I put the red ones on our tree down here for a week that we had them. <laughs> Um, and then all of these wood ones, these ones are like probably the most special to me. These ones here and my quilted ones. Um, I made a lot of these when I was pregnant with my girls, when I was like nesting phase, I had three April babies. So I was about halfway through my pregnancy for three of them, um, during the holidays. And so I would just sit on the couch, just starting to be uncomfortable. And I would just want to like do something. And so I would just crochet these little ornaments and I just it's kind of fun I hope that I can keep these um, as they get older and I don't know maybe they can give them to their kids when they get older 
and have kids themselves. So now I have to put them all away. And that's a daunting task. It's one thing to leave it on the counter in that room, even though that bugs me and that forces me to put them away itself. But I can't leave this stuff here because Ashley now tumbles in this room. <laughs> and it looks messy and I don't like things to look messy. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring the tubs in. And the problem is I can't just bring one in. <laughs> I don't know what one I need to just put the ornaments away. So it'll likely be that I end up putting a lot of it away, which is a good thing. I'm just tired. And so, and how long do I have here? I only have 20 minutes. <laughs> so no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna rest for 20 minutes and then I'll pick up with this in a minute. Well, in an hour. Before I forget to show you, here is my French toast. And I've got that um, syrup on it that we got on our road trip and some blueberries and a glass of milk and TikTok.